Hello YouTube, Survivals Unite. I just did a little experiment. I took a little metal lid off one of our um right here, off one of our spice jars that's empty. I filled it full of petroleum jelly. I put some Vaseline in it, I mean um some tin foil around it, and a wick. I'm gonna see what kind of light this will put off, see how long it'll burn. But uh, hopefully I made a little lantern. But let me flip the lights off. There you go, flip the lights off back there. See what kind of light this puts out. If any. So what I'm hoping for, that wick I made out of a um a a gauze patch. I'm hoping that it'll suck up the petroleum jelly when it gets hot. And so far, it's pretty bright. It ain't bad. I don't know how well you guys can see it. And it's starting to melt the petroleum jelly now. Down in. It looks like it's sucking it up into the piece of gauze. The gauze is making a good wick. Got a little stuff burning off the top. That ain't a bad little emergency light, is it? What do you think, Noodle? Mm hmm. Let me see. Let me shine it like this. Man, it's lighting it up pretty good, isn't it? And it's sucking up that. That gauze is working great for a wick because it's just sucking. I can see it. Just sucking up that petroleum jelly. So far, I haven't even dented what I've put in here. This thing's gonna burn for hours. Can you smell the cocoa butter? Oh, yeah, yes. this petroleum jelly has cocoa butter in it. A little, yeah, a little bit. bit. But shoot, that ain't bad. So, just so you all know, I think I'm going to be able to go to the bug out shelter here in the next couple days. And I can't remember who, and I apologize for not remembering who, but made a comment on my food kit saying I should try it, see how many meals I get out of it. So, I'm going to take that, my bug out pack, I'll show you guys what I got in it when I get there. And... Probably this is a petroleum jelly, so I got light inside the bug out shelter. Cheap light. This petroleum jelly is cheap. And, um, see how many meals I get out of it and how long I can stay there. Probably won't be more than a week, though, because I got things at home I got to do. But look, if you look inside here, it hasn't hardly used any yet, but that wick is working fabulous. Kind of hard to see. Is it? A little bit. That's just a, a piece of gauze I cut into a strip, stuck it down inside the petroleum jelly, got a little bit of petroleum jelly on the wick, and it is working absolutely perfect. So this will be my light in the bug out shelter. Even though I got candles and everything, but like I said, a big bottle of Vaseline, if this works like I think it is, will last a long time for light. Okay, I already see where I got a problem though. I gotta secure the um okay. gauze because it just fell over. It's gonna put itself out. So I gotta secure the gauze to the bottom of the container. Probably use a penny or something. But anyway guys. Believe it or not, this thing isn't out yet. It's just the gauze fell over. You see. Hmm. Too hot to fix it. But actually, if you knock it over like that, this little light like this would be perfect for like, before you go to bed. Just have a little light on all night. But when I go to the bug out shelter, we'll see just how long these things burn. I'm going to perfect it a little bit more. 
you know, use a penny or something to weigh it down, but it just, all the um, petroleum jelly melted, turned into oil, and my wick just fell over. But it's still, I can still see it sucking it up. Anyway, a little something I like to share with you. I've been meaning to put, try this. Looks like it works great. A little better when I bug out. Thank you for watching. SurvivalsUnite.com. Always be prepared.